Hello and welcome to my channel. I was recently on the beautiful island of St. Martin and this video is a quick recap of my trip, which includes great food, good vibes, and some awesome sights. Thankfully, St. Martin drives on the right side of the road, like in the US and Canada. We stayed at Simpson Bay Resort Marina and Spa. TripAdvisor rates this resort with four stars and that's basically what I would give it as well. Primarily because of the location and it sits on the bay. The rooms was comfortable and the bay view set it off for me. The site was so beautiful, morning, noon, and night. Look at that view. Nice. The traffic was thick, but we made our way around the captain's rib shack. We actually could have walked. The staff was amazing. And for me, the food was a 10 out of 10. And if you have already been to St. Martin or lived there, you already know. But if you haven't, it's a casual spot on the main strip that you should probably um, not skip at eating at. Later that evening, we went over to Roxy's Restaurant and Bar. Roxy's was a great trip kickoff. My itinerary for this trip was to be primarily about vibes and sightseeing, not so much traditional excursions. Roxy sits right off the bay as well. I could actually see it from my hotel balcony. We had a good seat. The breeze was nice. The DJ was hidden. The bottles was popping. Again, the food was so freaking good. These restaurants in St. Martin don't miss. The staff brought nothing but good energy for my birthday celebration. So the next morning, we drove over to Reveal for breakfast. I see why this island is called a gourmet island. I haven't had bad food yet. And the prices are incredible. Those potatoes, oh my God, so well seasoned. Of course, we're back on the move, checking out the scenery of the beautiful island. So pretty. This is Maho Beach where the planes land extremely close to your head. And those people were out there waiting for the next plane to land. We went ahead and parked 
um, so that we could get a front row seat at Sunset Bar, which is this bar here, so that we could watch the plane landing while having a drink. Now I will say the food at Sunset was a miss for me, but just to get a great seat to see that is all that matters. The Club Mykonos is also right beside Sunset along with the Morgan Hotel. Okay, so you know I had to see the man, go see the man that watches over the land, Mr. William Henry Bell. At the age of 33, he and his siblings and a cousin bought an estate called Cape Bay, which consisted of plantations. He died like a year later after the purchase. And many years later, um, they decided that his statue should be represented on this hill. I'm sure the details of his story are deeper, but that's my quick synopsis. I'm not sure what's going on with these chickens. Oh, let me think about it, Willie. So we're, later that night, we're back in the streets of St. Martin to catch dinner and vibes at Bamboo House. The word that comes to mind to describe this restaurant is sexy. It has an open air concept. So good. It rained a little bit or briefly, but it was not a vibe killer. Our table overlooked the island and the lower level had an equally as nice ambiance. So good. That's the island of St. Martin. Again. The food and staff was amazing. And this was another 10 out of 10. So the next day we drove over to Grand Cause. I swear riding and walking the streets of Grand Cause really made our Sunday a fun day. on the motorcycles they were no joke we had every intention to have lunch at rainbow cafe right there but quite honestly we um wanted to take advantage of some good old down home island cooking so we went to lolo's and man what a treat this food was so good. Now this was a 12 out of 12. We also took advantage of some popular photo ops. Now we're on a road trip to Phillipsburg to do some shopping and walk the boardwalk. For some reason, I couldn't find the photo op of the yellow taxi cab or I didn't walk up Front Street far enough it was hot the local residents mentioned it was abnormally hot 
My visit was a weekend of the tropical storm of Dahlia. This is the iconic alley of the green foliage that leads out to Grace Bay Beach and the boardwalk. So I'm just kind of strolling the boardwalk right now, saying hello to the really friendly people. to fly my drone on the boardwalk pier I wasn't able to fly it on the beach of at our restaurant I mean, excuse me at our resort or mullet bay um, due to it being so close to the airport and I wasn't able to unlock the authorization code as well either so I took advantage of flying in Phillipsburg so who goes to an island without having a beach day but first, check out these beautiful views Koopagoy is giving. Koopagoy was beautiful. We ended up posting up at Mullet Bay Beach. <laughs> Dang, that wave almost took me out. Thanks for getting that sand off my face. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.